So this is part three, video update for my daughter's science experiment, the effect of music and vibration on the growth of plants. As you can see, this is the quiet room. You can definitely see that we have some very tall little tomato plants sprouting out of their, their little starter pots here. We've had one in this room that has become crippled that we've had to support just because of its, its height. It can no longer grow on its own. All the rest in here seem to be doing just absolutely fine. And here we are in the music room. As you can see, they're growing much or very nicely. Uh, there is one here. I don't know if we can get it on the camera, but it has begun sprouting its second little set of leaves here. You can kind of see them there. Another casualty in here but they're growing very nicely. I'd say uh, in this room, they are definitely taller. We are doing measurements. Um, she's recorded uh, higher heights in this room than in the quiet room. And here we are in the vibration room. We've had four casualties in here, but you can see the height of the tallest plant in here is higher than any of the plants in the other rooms. So we've got one plant in here which we measured that was 122 millimeters the other night, surpassing the highest plant in the classical music room that was only 118, and the highest plant in the quiet room which was only 110. So that's our video update, part three, to the effect of music and vibration on the growth of plants. Hopefully we'll have another one in the coming weeks. So keep watching.